previously on this guy's garage. Some 2018 to 2020 F-150 vehicles equipped with a 5 liter engine may exhibit excessive oil consumption due to high intake manifold vacuum during some deceleration fuel shutoff events. Plugged into the vacuum port. Some of these engines experience high intake manifold vacuum. High intake manifold vacuum is a symptom of too much advance in ignition timing. This oil consumption fiasco is leaving more questions than answers. What does vacuum mean? Well, it sucks. guys garage like and subscribe so welcome back to this guy's garage today we're going to be talking about technical service bulletin 18 23 54 and how it's connected to the technical service bulletin 2365 2338 and 2058 the genesis of the oil consumption problem so today we're going to be connecting the dots and uh i just want to take the time because uh I want to thank everybody that's hit that subscribe button. Uh, it really helps add influence to this problem. So right now I'm at war with Ford, but they don't know it. So I need your help. So if you have any questions, any concerns, please leave a comment below. If you think I'm wrong, leave a comment below. So in a previous video, I did a vacuum test on a couple of trucks. The vacuum test pointed us to a symptom of too much ignition time. So in this video we're talking about deceleration rattle, not pre-ignition, not piston slap, not spark knock. As you can see by the complicated illustration we have here on the board today, this is going to be a bit technical, but I'm going to try to give you the Cliff Notes version. So today we're talking about technical service bullet 182354 and how it relates to to the oil consumption issue. So first let's read the technical service bulletin. Some 2018 to 2020 vehicles equipped with a 5 liter engine may exhibit an engine rattle noise during deceleration tip out maneuver from 1500 rpm to 800 rpm and or during an acceleration maneuver around 2000 rpm. So most of your everyday driving. These engines suffered from a deceleration rattle. Now you can only have engine rattle when you have slack this slack the Ford engineers come up with a band-aid solution this technical so service bulletin deals with the cam phaser solenoids so what it does is it artificially locks out the cam phaser solenoids now these cam phaser solenoids have a 20 degree swing on them so it can change your cam ch cam timing by 20 degrees so when this happens the engine now has to comp compensate for that is it creates a condition where the engine management system is trying to compensate for cam position and it changes the engine timing and it does this to satisfy the air fuel ratio that's coming out of your tailpipe so it to meet emission standards basically this fix creates a lockout condition which in turn creates high intake manifold vacuum which I discussed in an earlier video so when you have a high intake manifold vacuum, it creates a condition where it turns your engine into a vacuum cleaner and it sucks every drop of oil it can get out of your PCV system directly into the intake. So it's a perfect storm. Newton's third law states this, every action has an equal and opposite reaction. By artificially locking out the solenoids, it created a condition where you have high intake manifold vacuum because the ECU is trying to satisfy the engine timing. If you're going to put out a lockout kit in your engine, the engine now has to be set back up. So you cannot artificially lock out a camshaft. The fix for this would be a phaser lockout kit. To do that and to do it correctly, you would have to bring this engine 
up the top dead center on number one. Put in the cam phaser delete kit, or put in a phaser lockout kit. And then you would have to custom tune the engine. Ford's Band-Aid created a worse problem. Because now the engine's consuming oil. The customer doesn't know this. So what happens is, the customer's driving down the road. I first noticed this with my truck, I, I, I hear noise in the engine. I pull out the dipstick, there's not a drop of oil on the dipstick. What happens with an interference engine, when you run it low on oil, you have four timing chains in this engine. These engines being run low on oil, the timing chains aren't getting fed oil. They're stretching, and now the slack that was artificially introduced is back. So this fix took the noise away for maybe a week or two, and then it was back worse than ever. Oil's not getting to your timing chains because there's not enough oil in the engine. Now Ford has tried to uh, compensate for this by overfilling your engine. This technical service bullet, in my opinion, this has created the whole oil consumption problem. So, I would like to support my findings with a timeline. So when I say technical service bulletin 2354 is the root of the oil consumption problem, which is not the only part of it, but it's the root, I support it with a timeline. Technical service bulletin 2354 came out in November 27th, 2018. Then we have an oil consumption bulletin issued March 1st of 2019. This, this cannot be ignored. So in the next set of videos, we're going to tie all this information together. So be counted, be seen, be heard. Sign the petition that we have going over at change.org. And uh, Ford, you're welcome. So once again, I want to say thanks for watching this guy's garage. You can watch another video right here, and you can hit the subscribe button right there. A lot of people don't know this. Subscribing is free. I'm surprised the amount of people that don't know that subscribing is free. So take the time, hit the subscribe button. It really gives us influence in this point. All right. This guy's garage. Like and subscribe.